Welcome to the Nerd Show. In today's show, I have some DC news for you. DC is not done ruining Batman for us. We already have a perfect Batman, and that's Ben Affleck. And we only have two movies with Ben Affleck in it, feature films. We have Batman vs Superman, that's not a solo Batman film. And then we have the Justice League. And Josh Whedon made Batman into a comedian. And then we saw the Snyder Cut, so still technically one film. But after that, we didn't get to see enough Batman. The Flash cameo, it was a bit okay, but the costume, the bat costume, was a bit, you know, they done some stuff to it, and it's the worst gray suit. It's not even, a, I don't know, like, how they even came up, uh, came up with that design. It's kind of like a gray, like, a, like, a, like, you know, they remember the hockey pants scene that kind of remembered me, like, reminded me, like, Okay, now we have a new, uh, news article that DC removes Ben Affleck's final Batman cameo from coming movie. That's the report. So, uh, and uh, there was a plan to bring in, bring Ben Affleck back in as a as Batman in the upcoming Aquaman, the next film. But uh, James Gunn decided not to do so. So let's have a look into the article and see what's going on with James Gunn and what is he trying to do and why is he continuously ruining DC and then disappointing fans, just like you and me. According to a new report, Ben Affleck's last cameo as Batman has already came as another appearance was removed from an upcoming DC movie. That's Aquaman, the upcoming movie. As I read continuing to the article, Affleck made a surprising comeback as the Keep Crusader with a minor role in The Flash. Even if it's a minor role, if you watch the animated movies, you'll see uh, a better role than this one. And the ending, you don't see George Clooney coming in in the DC one. We see the Batman himself coming in. So at the, the ending finishes in Batcave. Sharing a couple of key scenes with Ezra Miller's Barry Allen before the multiverse took story took over before James Gunn started ruining everything. And while the DC used, DC EU's Batman actor shined in uh, promotional material for this new outing, the Flash ending put Ben Affleck's future in je uh, jeopardy even more. So then it already was with the franchise starting anew. Ben Affleck's cameo as Batman removed again the title here. The Hollywood Reporter revealed that Ben Affleck will no longer be appearing as Batman in the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I was hoping because uh, Aquaman is one of the original characters from Zack Snyder's DCEU. So if you can bring in Aquaman, why don't you bring in? Uh, why don't you bring in the whole crew for one last time and show them together? Uh, so I don't know, like at least give the fans a satisfying ending. Oh. Give us some a little bit of joy. Get to watch the DC EU on final time, the Justice League. So reportedly, former head of DC Films Walter Hamada had intended for Michael Keaton's take on Batman to be in the movies as feature a figure similar to Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Nick Fury in the MCU. Stop making DC movies into MCU movies. We don't. We have MCU already. We don't need another. In was just like MCU. We need dark DC movies. That's what we want. DC movies follow their own style. You should follow your own style. Doesn't have to be Marvel. Marvel is now going woke and getting destroyed. So we don't have to go for Marvel style. We just have to stick with our style, DC style. Detective comics, or oh, some people used to call you guys dark comics. So why don't we stay with uh, dark storylines? When Aquaman 2 was set to arrive in March 2023, which would have been before The Flash, Keaton's cameo was removed and reshoot took place to put Affleck in the movie instead. So that explains a lot. Then when Aquaman 2's date was removed, moved again, the studio reportedly decided to remove both versions of Batman. The studio doesn't know what the fans actually want. The studio is following some stupid crazy people. That's it. The new DC Studios head James Gunn and Peter Safran didn't 
the movie to prom promise anything for the future to or tie back to the disappointments from previous movies. The previous movies were good, only some critics didn't agree because of the Marvel franchises. They were start they started comparing these movies to Marvel movies. That's uh, that's another problem. And they wanted a lighter uh, comedic tone just like the Marvel movies. That's that's why most of them didn't like it. And disappointments with uh, Wonder Woman 84 and everything else is because, uh, you know, what happened. Uh, first Wonder Woman movie, Zack Snyder was part of it. So we can see the difference from Wonder Woman 84 and the first Wonder Woman movie. Just uh, that's the difference. And disappointments, yes, you all made mistakes. You didn't, I don't know, how, how do I say, like you didn't do a proper research. A proper meeting on the movies like the Sazam, the two characters, the Billy Batson and Captain Marvel should be played by, should have the same personality because that's the same person from a kid and then an adult. The adult version was funny, acted like a kid and the kid version was dull and acted like an adult. So this is your fault. The movie makers didn't make a good movie and James Gunn, you're also disappointing everything. With one source calling the situation pretty chaotic. Is Ben Affleck's time as Batman? Oh, well, looking at the report for Aquaman 2, it's clear that the end of the DC, DC Universe got rough after the Flash would up being a, uh, Flash wound up being a such controversial movie for fans during the theatrical run. Yes, uh, fans expected a different movie. I don't know why you have to bring in General Zod into that movie. He has nothing to do with Flash. Bring, uh, Flash has a lot of uh, iconic enemies. Or we can bring in another speedster, an evil speedster, and make him the main villain. And Supergirl, um, uh, I don't, I was expecting Superman, but this Supergirl scenes were a bit okay. But still, she didn't get much of a screen time. She got killed, and uh, annoyingly, two Barry Allens, and then putting a baby into the microwave, and then he's pushing all of them and telling, uh, moving every baby. In high speed and telling the other Barry is not allowed to move. Your storyline wasn't consistent. And even with Affleck cameo still being in place shortly after the Flash premiered, surprised to see just how fast things are changing behind the scenes as this set of films come to an end. The Flash seemed to actually erase Ben Affleck's Keep Crusader from existence in the DC Universe, and with Michael Keaton's version being dead too it seems only logical that neither of them will be included in Aquaman 2 yes it's not in either of the worlds because uh, Michael Keaton is not the Batman Ben Affleck's universe uh, world is already been destroyed even before the even before the movie we know because uh, James Gunn made sure we will not see any more Ben Affleck that means that world the timeline is no longer exists in DC universe now uh, Flash is in a different timeline or uh, different earths if it's a multiverse concept uh, with uh, George Clooney as the Batman that's also a little bit sad to see Batman getting old but considering how many changes Aquaman 2 has been through already this removal should only be another way to put a bow on the former DCEU before Gunn and Saffron's new story come to life. So what uh, James Gunn and Saffron are doing is killing off the previous movies, previous storylines, completely shutting down that storyline and creating a new storyline on, on top of that, that corpse. That's what they are doing. And still, they don't understand what the fans want. They're just doing what they want, what they're still comparing the DCU with Marvel and trying to make lighter tone movies or whatever Marvel is doing, they're trying to make it into the DC movie. And in the end, they end up ruining the fans' experience, excitement and whatever we wanted to see. I don't think we will be able to see in the future uh, DC films. If you guys, like I said in my previous video, if you guys actually care about the DC movies, you want to watch some good DC movies, just go back not go back, go into the animated movies. Thank you for watching. If, if you like this content, click the like button. If you think this is worth of sharing, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.